So I have the Grime Tones Texture Template opened up in Adobe Illustrator. And what this template does is it makes it really easy to apply distressed halftone textures to your vector designs in Adobe Illustrator. So when you open it up above the artboard, you'll see 17 color and 17 texture swatches. You'll also see an artboard with a logo on it. And there are also the same 17 color and 17 texture swatches when you open your swatches window. So I'll show you how to use this. And first, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the example logo that's in there and just delete it. Now I'm gonna go to a logo that I built and I'm just gonna select all that and then I'm gonna go Command C to copy it and I'm gonna paste it onto that artboard. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is scale your logo or your design up to be about the size of the artboard. That way your halftone textures are in correct proportion to your design. Just to show you how to use this, I'm going to select the text and you'll notice how some of this text is outlined and some of it's live. These texture swatches work on both live type and outline type. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go Command C and then I'm gonna paste in front a copy of that black art and I can just go up here and use my eyedropper tool to sample one of these textures. So if I zoom in, you'll see how that distressed halftone is in our design. It's a transparent halftone over the original art. So the next thing I wanna show you is this shaded part of the pig, it's on top. So what I can do with that is I can just select all that and I can go with my eyedropper tool again and sample one of these halftone textures. So that's already starting to look pretty good. I think that texture is a little dark and I'll show you how to change the color in a second. So the next thing I'll do is I'll select this bright red, go Command C, and then I'll paste in front a copy of that red again. And now what I can do is I can go and sample another texture. And I think this is starting to look pretty good. But like I said, I think that shadow is a little too dark. So if you wanna change the colors, what you're gonna do is these colors and textures correspond to each other. So this dark shadow on the pig was texture and color number four. So I'm gonna go over here to my swatches panel and to edit the color, what you wanna do is make sure you don't have anything selected and go ahead and double click on that color four and click preview so you can see the changes as you make them. And I'm just gonna brighten up that red just a little bit and then just click okay. And maybe the last thing I'll do is I'm gonna take this black, command C, and then paste in front another copy of that black and I'm also gonna sample that same texture that I put on the type, which was number 14. So that's how you use the Grime Tones Texture Template in Adobe Illustrator. Grime Tones Texture Template for Adobe Illustrator is part of T-Shirt Design Master Collection 2. To find out more about that, click the link on this page. Thanks for watching.